We're all here for the same purpose. We're here to help children become better citizens, be better leaders, and in turn, better learners. This luncheon is our fourth annual Books for Kids luncheon, and it was my way to say thank you. Thank you to all of the readers that we do have. Thank you for this, to the school principals and to the superintendent of schools and to the teachers. Without their support, none of this could happen. But the teachers alone, even though they do a tremendous job, they can't do it by themselves. So volunteers and you giving of your time and working with our administrators, it does make a difference. We want to just help these children. And the way we're doing this, by going into the classroom, by helping the boys and girls with reading and listening, comprehension skills, critical thinking, character development, career education, and then giving them these books that they could hold on to, that's the special quality of the Books for Kids program. When I was in a different county, they didn't have a program like this. So um, I was open to it, obviously, and I've just grown to love it instantly. And this is my second year in this county, and I asked my reader to stay with me, please, because she's so great, and my kids just love it. They don't have parents that read to them, most of them, or they don't speak English. Oh, they love it. It's one of their favorite days of the month, and they love when they come in, and they're interactive, and it's, they really look forward to it. These boys and girls need to know that not only does the teacher care, not only does the principal care, but when we go into that classroom, these boys and girls need to know that we truly care about them. And that's the nature of the, of the Books for Kids program. I would hope to see it in every elementary school and getting kids that are in poverty and can't go to the bookstore and the library and don't have access to those books, building their at-home libraries to help their reading levels go up.